Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Good Morning Soul. Good morning. Today this is a special occasion because this is the 100th episode of Good Morning Soul. And by obviously you guys know I upload these in advance and obviously I'm not I've obviously not even uploaded, like, I've scheduled them, but I haven't, like, the first episode hasn't even gone up yet. But I've recorded well over, like, I want to say, like, 175 of these? And I was like, I know at one point I need to make the 100th episode. And then I looked in my list to see where it was, and it's like, okay, I might as well just record this right now. So, that's what we're doing here. And I thought I'd just take this episode to kind of reflect on where I'm at in the recordings, where I, like, think the series might go. I think it'd also be interesting to talk about, you know, the viewership and, you know, if I'm able to... Like, I honestly can't make this video knowing stuff uh, that will have happened since the 100 reviews. But even since I started filming, just in my personal life, there's been huge changes... Uh, like, I've, I've thought about, like, just stuff I've recorded and how ready that already almost doesn't fit me. Like, I know the video I recorded for the main channel where I'm plugging, uh, this series. Or it's my announcement video. I'm driving on my way to work to a job that I've already put my two weeks in. Um, <laughs> so that's already kind of like, eh, you know, I don't, I'm not gonna be making, I already don't even make the 5 a.m drive anymore because I'm working nights now uh, for the remainder of my time there and not only that just like little things like I know I mentioned smoking uh, the ganja before and that I no longer do just little things like that anyway um personally like I think it's going to be crazy like to see where I'm at by the time that this episode ends up like even a hundred days I feel like everybody every even monthly bi-weekly changes like if even if it's like because I feel like people are such humans are such like bipolar creatures and get such mood swings and are chemically and even just like the stuff they're putting in their bodies like everything's just so um all over the place that it's hard to really just like like it's hard to be like this is a person like how we label characters and movies and stuff humans are so much more complicated on so many other levels so to say that this like that the same person listening to this like in a hundred plus days is the same person that I am now is kind of crazy but I feel like the past like months I want to say that I've been filming this I have really like captured like a part of who I am and not only that like I've like just doing so many of these series and looking into my past like I, I did book or I did a uh, videos about like reading books again and that's kind of like inspired me to start reading again and I have I literally put a my, my whole fucking closet door is filled with post-it notes with books I want to read and I've already cracked open more books and I bought a fucking Kindle um, which I remember in one of my videos I said I didn't have a Kindle and that would be super cool to have like already that type of shit is changing and not only that like the short films I was able to fucking watch, like, that was, like, movie quality experiences that I had in the time frame it takes to, like, watch a YouTube video. Not knocking YouTube or anything, obviously that is what you are watching this on. But, like, to have that, like, much packed into such a short amount of time and actually be able to, like, like I feel like in, like, a couple years those videos will mean a lot to me because I'm seeing those experiences, like, firsthand. I, they're practically reaction videos and that's the only benefit really to reaction videos is to literally like my my reaction videos that I made it's like oh I can literally see the time that I watched the mass or the uh, Fallout 4 trailer and the Mass Effect Andromeda trailer like I can see when that became like news to me which is like kind of cool you know um, and not only that just like doing character studies has been really interesting to me doing the review commentary 
like actually being able to watch all my old reviews and like some of them are better than I thought they were in all honesty I've thought the like if anything I feel like part of me like died like partway through that doing those reviews like I don't know what it was but like watching those earlier videos I can see like a lot more effort and a lot more like kind of heart whereas like as my production value like went up and up and up like there was a part of me that just wasn't like into it anymore and I feel like doing this series doing all these things I'm planning to make and kind of putting the reviews on uh, not on not on break because I'm still filming them I'm literally just putting them in this giant to edit pile um, and eventually they'll all just come out like in a weekly or by however the fuck I want to do it it might just be a whole month of fucking movie reviews another month of music reviews but like for right now good morning soul is my like thing I'm doing I, I decided I'd take two months to really and I, I did I debated I was like I need to get it done in one month and I was like that's unrealistic two months and then I was like a month and a half two months maybe it should just be two and a half months um, but either way I've made pretty damn good progress on this series like it's not an easy series to record for because it is very time-consuming like even ten minutes um, just to record one episode like today I recorded a bunch of the short film reviews and those take up a lot of time like I'm watching 30 minutes then I'm recording for 10 minutes then I'm editing the audio for two minutes like and that's not to mention editing the videos uploading them which in comparison to normal YouTube videos which take like 12 hours to make like it's obviously a breeze but when I'm trying to make 365 of them within the before I have my birthday here in two weeks it's it's kind of a clusterfuck but um I'm doing it I'm putting in the work and I'm actually very excited for this series um I'm actually like normally I don't talk about this with people in my real life but I've like I really want some people in my IRL life to watch these videos like I really want my brother uh my girlfriend uh, just friends to watch this series I'm gonna try to encourage them to because I really think this is a cool way into my psyche and not only that just like it's a way to kind of learn about me like I've noticed I've like other people who do this and let you in-depth look into their lives through video content Like I feel like I know so much about them like and even though like I'm I haven't met them so they can't really even like hold a real kind of physical place in my life because I haven't talked to them it's they're still very fascinating and if someone could find me fascinating and get to know me in real life it would be so I don't know because I can't it's hard for me to communicate with words like wor mouth to mouth like some days I'm really good like today I was out with a bunch of friends I, I was you know very vocal I was in a group setting other days I'm in a group setting and people think there's just fuck some fucking wrong with me. People be like, you don't smile. Why don't you smile? I'll be like, I do smile. I'm just, I don't know. Or people be like, yo, is there something wrong with you? I'm be like, I don't know. Like, no. Like, what you mean? <laughs> like, I, I, I'll try to laugh it off and be casual, but like, like I, obviously I'm not doing a fucking good job because in my mind I'm just normal. I'm just chilling. But people, other people are like, yo, what the fuck? I'm just like Jesus Christ I, I can't put on this fucking mask 24-7 like and I hate being fake to people but writing like I remember there's times I would like try to because I couldn't talk to like my mom or someone or even like my brother and I would try to just write out what I'm saying sometimes I, I couldn't even give it to them because I was too hard but like the times that they did see just like oh here are my feelings and I've done that I've done that I remember like my ex-girlfriend like I was like here's a fucking piece of paper with all the things that I'm feeling and then she's read and she's like I don't I don't know what to make of this and I was like well clearly we're at a fucking impasse um yeah so writing has always helped me like because I again I just can't fucking communicate but like the thoughts in my brain are fine. Like, the thoughts in my brain can, like, usually 9 out of 10 
form the right words. It's just I'm too slow to fucking communicate them, or I'm too awkward, or I'll even... I literally have been stuck at least, uh, like, tens of thousands of times, like, I should probably say this. And then I'm just, like... Sitting there, I'm like, I should say this, and then I'm just like, and then it's too late. I'm like, what the fuck? I know this is taking a tangent since uh, we're, we're we're celebrating a hundred episodes. I should probably just talk about that. But yeah, um, you know, we had series like Dankus memes, songs I love, which was a great way for me to kind of like these songs that I've heard dozens, if not hundreds, of times. Obviously, my brain is going to fucking think about them. So finally to be able to voice that has been like kind of a uh, like a great way for me to get that off my chest. And a lot of this, like, I feel like maybe if people watch this, they'll kind of understand my obsession with art and kind of like my obsession with YouTubing. Like, this is a constant for me. Like, there is not... I was going to say, like, a day that goes by, but there's not an hour in a day that goes by. Like, obviously, if I'm sleeping, I can't be thinking, but there's not an hour a day I'm not thinking about this. There's not that, like, even today, I'm out in fucking public, I'm fucking playing laser tag, and I'm fucking thinking about, like, the my videos rendering at home. I'm hoping they're rendering okay. And then I'm thinking, like... Uh, like, just bullshit. Like, it's a constant for me. And that's not just YouTubing. It's, like, art in general. Like, I'm always, like, thinking, oh, I should, like, if I have 20 minutes in a day, boom, what am I going to fill that with? Like, literally, I'll have, like, okay, I have an hour before, um, uh, such and such happens. What do I do? I'll be like, okay, let me, uh, read this book. Uh, let me turn on a video and play some video games. I'll be like, uh... I can fit an anime in there. Okay, let's do that. Like, I'm just all over the fucking place. But, um, oh god, I have to stop recording soon. I passed the 10 minute mark, and I need to go somewhere soon. And it's, al it's already 2 a.m. I'm gonna be sleeping here soon. But, um, yeah, I'll, I've, I think a lot of these have gone really good. I think my, uh, my talent as a podcaster. Again, it kind of just depends on the day because I've recorded some of these where I'm just like, that's exactly what I don't want. My voice is just very monotone. I don't have that much feeling. I'm just kind of like, oh, hey guys, um, today we're talking about, like, I don't want that. I don't, don't, like, I can't stop myself from doing that. Like, it's just kind of a slump, but I feel like, I, I notice a lot of the time my voice is just kind of like very like, uh, like, and that's because I'm super, super indecisive to the point where my speech is just like uh, uh, like it's just all over the place um, a couple other things I am getting better at cutting out the ums and ahs out of my talk I've noticed if I just speak slowly because I feel like a lot of these I've recorded it's just kind of like me like it's like the thought goes into my brain and I'm like da 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 thought goes in my da 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 and then I'm, then I'm just struggling I'm struggling but if I just speak calm and collective like, Digibro, the YouTuber I watch a lot of, like, I've kind of taken a lot of cues just from his vocal patterns because he obviously is very fucking good at podcasting because that's all he fucking does. And so I've learned that, hey, if I speak slower, not only am I going to, like, people are going to understand me better. Like, people in movies don't talk like normal people where they're just kind of like, I don't know, fidgety or like, all over the place they speak calm collected and they like they read their lines as if they're reading lines when people read teleprompters off the news they're not like being like okay good morning guys hey today we're gonna be talking about like and I noticed like especially when I'm doing reviews I talk faster and that's partly because I'm trying to be like energetic and feel like like some kind of thing I'm like hey what's up guys today we're talking about like I don't need to do that especially if I'm podcasting but anyway yeah I think this despite that a couple of the videos turned out that way I think most of them um, turned out really good uh, looking just looking at some of them, like that game I played even though it's a series that I don't think many people watched I think 
I was finally able to cl clear the air on a bunch of fucking relics from my past. And I feel like, oh, like, I don't have to talk about that game ever again. Like, I don't have to, like, worry about it. <laughs> but, like, not only that, but I thought, like, they made for interesting conversations. And it kind of, like, got me into the funk of those games again. It was literally kind of like this euphoric... Like, I entered a place in time. Like, I remembered what I was doing in that place in time. It was like, you know in Inside Out, the movie, where they, like, enter the girl's subconscious, and then there's some parts of it that are just really obscure, and it's like, she's not using this. Like, I felt like I was entering a lot of that. It was like, <laughs> I could just see the characters in Inside Out just, like, beaming, like, a far-off, like, Batman light to, the, like, the back of the my subconscious but yeah and I and my some of my favorites of these have been like my memory videos because what a great way to kind of immortalize all that even like the time I got my ps4 like getting my scars um, stuff like that and then like the like more broad retrospective like um, adopting to the internet why I don't play PC uh, my Pokemon fucking reviews those are probably like eh, the lower card of th these videos, but th I felt like most of these turned out a lot better than I was going to think they were. Some of them were kind of subpar, but a lot of them were interesting. And when I replay them, like I can fully listen to them. Like a lot of the times, like I'll watch, I'll rewatch my reviews, and I'm like, I know this is like where I want it to be. But I don't sit through the whole thing because I've already spent like 10 hours making it. Whereas with these, I only like, I only got to listen to it once and that's like me reviewing it. Or going over it to make sure everything's fine. And it's like, it's for a person who's rewatching their content, it's more watchable. Whereas with my reviews, I'm like, okay, I already f saw this a hundred times editing it. Like I, I can recite the words to you because I, because I wrote them. I read them, I edited the fuck out of them, um, yeah, but yeah, I need to cut this video off, thank you guys if you watched even a portion of these 100 videos, I super actually, like, you don't even understand how much I appreciate that, like, like, if anybody follows me through these videos, even a couple of the videos, if you watch this, like, once a week, once a month, even, a bi-weekly like all of that means a lot to me I know like everybody says that at the end of every video but like I truly deeply appreciate that and if anyone watches all 100 like <laughs> if you can if you want to keep doing that in the future I will be happy to provide because there's at least 265 more of these already scheduled on the way so yeah I look forward to bringing you guys more videos, and I am eternally grateful for a moment of your time, because it is a precious thing, and I don't take it for granted. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, again, my social media, uh, Patreon links are all down below. You guys are the best. I'll see you tomorrow with another episode of Good Morning Soul, and with that, I leave you.